Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and uh, zip a file and actually set up an encryption on set file or folder. Now, you might want to go ahead and do this, let's just say if you have, you know, some personal information or some sort of documents that contain PII, and you want to go ahead and secure them one way or another, and unfortunately you don't have, let's just say, an encryption software, or you don't even have... A USB drive that is that you can go ahead and encrypt. So using 7-zip you can actually go ahead and grab that folder and then zip it and then go ahead and add a password to it. So the first thing you're gonna need is a 7-zip uh, software. I already have it installed but I'll go ahead and leave a link below. So we'll just go ahead and go to start. See 7-zip here and 7-zip file manager. Let's go ahead and open that. Now you can actually go ahead and navigate um, where you want or where you have this file. So uh, for me, uh, the file is actually going to be just on the desktop. So as you can see, it's right there and it shows here in the program as well. So here, let's just go ahead and right click. We're going to go to 7-zip and we're going to do add to archive. So you do have more options uh, basically here, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and do the add to archive. So the add to archive window opened up. Of course, you could go right ahead and uh, change the name right here. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna leave it as is. You do have the archive format, so you can actually change this. So you could do a 7Z, you could do a tar, you could do a WIM, and you could do a zip. Everything else, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave default. And uh, right here is basically where, where we're gonna be encrypting or setting up a password. Uh, with this uh, zip file. So we're just going to go ahead and enter a password. I'm just going to enter a very simple password, four digits. All right. And uh, of course, you could go ahead and do a show password. And you can also encrypt the file name. And as well as you could go ahead and select the encryption method that you want. For this one, of course, we're just going to use the AES 256. Now, touching up on the password, I know I chose a very simple one, but just FYI, you might want to go right ahead and use a, a little bit more secure password. I would recommend at least eight characters long, um, basically includes uh, uppercase, lowercase, numerical, as well as special characters. So here, uh, let's just go right ahead and click on OK. And just like that, the, the zip file is created. So uh, let's go ahead and see what happens if we click on this file. So let's go ahead and click on it and let's go ahead and open it. Uh, we do have several files uh, that I have here, but let's just go ahead and do the background. And as you can see, it wants a password. So let's just type in set password and there we go. So now we are able to go ahead and view our files. Alrighty, everybody. Well, I really do hope uh, you enjoyed this video. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one.